Hello guys, my name is Crazy and welcome to War Thunder. So here I'm gonna show you how to take off in simulator battles, um, show my controls, and before I start anything, I'm actually gonna say that you need a joystick for this, right? And I would highly suggest that you get a track IR5. It's basically a head tracking unit, so you don't need to keep constantly using your mouse or or like you know keep your hand on something else besides your joystick and um, for my case, I have a Thrustmaster Holders X, which has a separate throttle and joystick, so I have to keep both of my hands occupied. <laughs> and I can't really grab my mouse and then grab another thing. I'm going to need three hands for that, so. So, yeah, that's why I have a track hour with me. I'm actually going to show you it right now. And as you can see, that's my head looking up and down. It has six, um, quote-unquote, direction of flight. Six off, um, so I can go forward and backwards. Here, let me actually bring up a panel. So forward and backwards, up and down, right, left. I can look behind me if I want to. And I can rotate my neck like that. So like if there's a con there's a, a bandit just like rotating or like um doing rolls, you can just follow, you know, where he's gonna be. So well, that's done. Um, I'm actually gonna show you my controls. Which I use four wheel controls for. So for weaponry, same shit uh, as, you, as usual. Um, main controls, uh, set uh, my throttle as this. So as you can see, I move my throttle up and down. It changes it. Right. Um, pitch roll yaw is for my joystick. Flaps up, down, gear, brake, gunners. Alright, uh, mechanizations. Nope, that was just it. Alright. Trimming. This is the major part. This is very important. So you can actually maintain level flight and uh, you don't have to constantly keep filling with your fucking joystick. So you can just actually uh, set your trim and let go of your joystick and it's going to basically fly for itself until, you know, a gust of wind or turbulence or whatever else knocks you out around and you have to um, modify your trim. So, uh, elevator trim for, you know, elevator, the back, um, quote unquote, fins. Of the plane that makes you go up and down, aileron left, right to make you roll. Rudder is the yaw, which is go makes you go um left and right, quote unquote, left and right. <laughs> um, engine control I use full uh full um engine control, manual engine control, because I get more out of it out of my engine, and I've actually gone 500 to 600 kilometers now in a regular P51 level C flight. So what we're gonna do is, um, oh yeah, another thing I was gonna say, um, I was gonna, I'm gonna show you how to recover from a flat spin. So I'm gonna use the P-51 first as a training aircraft, um, uh, should I? Yeah, yeah, sure, it's very, okay, it's common. So we're gonna use simulator battles, alright. I actually did this recording one other time, but everything fucked up because I didn't have my control set. So as you can tell, I'm in a P-51. First things you do, set your flaps to take off. Second thing, open your radiators. Um, give me a second. Here, let me just boop. All right. Add. Okay. Turn you anyway. Boop. All right. So open your radiators to full. Once that's done, make sure your supercharger actually isn't on. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. I should actually switch that, that supercharger gears because every time I press it, it goes to gear 2, which is really bad. I can actually make my engine blow out. Um, where is the supercharger? Supercharger is going to be. Enter. No. <laughs> Dumbass. Enter. Replace because I don't like talking to people. So here we go. Auto radiator off. Full radiator open. Supercharger gear one. Alrighty. Um, make sure you set your propeller pitch to 100%, so you can get the max out of your engine, and you have the fastest takeoff out of uh, anyone else. No, tur no turbocharger on this aircraft. And. We're going to set up the trim and render it in the air. So right now, this is probably going to be the hardest part for most people. So we press idle, turn on the engine. Alright. 
Flaps are down. Flap stabs and ailerons. And I know my rudder is working because I know my tail wheels can, the tail wheel is going to be moving. Well, as you can see, left and right. So I'm going to take off. Slowly, gradually increase your throttle and use your rudder to compensate for the torque for the engine. And proceed to rep power or emergency power. And as you can tell, I'm using the rudder right now to keep myself straight in the line of the runway. Then gently pull back, gently pull back, not forcefully, gently. It's gonna lift up by itself, pull in the gears, flaps up raised. And once you raise the flaps, you have to um, increase the elevator trim and increase the aileron trim because the torque of the engine is gonna be very strong under under some um, sea level. So as you can see, I'm trimming, I let go of my joystick. I'm basically controlling with the trim right now. And I grab my joystick again so I can manually get myself straight and line and level. Fix my aileron trim as I go faster. Fix the elevator trim so I don't fucking stall out. And there we go. Level flight. So, now that's done. Uh, I don't. I've tried uh, flat spinning in this aircraft, and as you can tell, even though I have trim on, it's still gonna bank a little bit. So you have to readjust your trim a little bit more. It's banking due to the engine, but it's, that's common. All right, reduce my elevator trim. So I don't think I can um, flat spin with this aircraft. I'm actually gonna come around for a landing. Landings are kind of hard in this game. Because the planes are so bouncy and shit. So there's a runway up there. Can't see the runway now because nose is in the way, so let me bank right. The aircraft in the in this game is very touchy also. That's not that's not how it is in real life. I fly a system 172 in real life. It doesn't does not respond like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in for a landing, recruit, uh, reduce the throttle to fifty percent. <laughs> I'm most likely gonna crash on this land because I am not used to flying a P-51 in a simulator. Yeah, we're gonna come into base two final. All right, bank left. Heading towards final. Increase the throttle a little bit so we can get there faster. But don't increase too much so I don't overspeed and have too much speed on the runway. As we dive more, we're gonna take out our landing flaps, take out our gear. You can start fueling the aircraft lift because of the flaps out. So you don't so you have to keep putting pressure down towards the nose, possibly fix the trim when you're at it. Alright, a bit too high, cut the engine, let it fall, let it glide. I might hit the deck too hard, but that's all a learning experience of flying in this game. As you can see, my flaps are out. That's a destroy over there, okay. Give us some juice, give us some juice. As you, can, as you get closer to the ground, you can feel the air start pushing you side to side. And trying to compensate for that, which is very, very, very bad right now. All right, all right, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, okay, that was a bit of a hard landing. I might hit my ring. Oh, all right, there we go. Putting pressure to my brakes. Keep, keep putting pressure. All right, there we go. We landed in a P fifty one Mustang. Turn off the engine, and boom. So that's how you take off and do a landing in this um, not SRB in um, simulated battles. So now let me actually take out the zero because that plane suffers from a lot of um, flat spinning issues. The A6M probably A6M2 because that, that was the one I was having the most trouble with. But I'm going to show you how to recover. From a flat spin, so let's test flight. 
the E6M2. And simulated battles. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh no, we're gonna take off on a carrier. Oh man. Okay. So this is a special occurrence. Alright. Full propeller pitch. Full radiator. Mixture to 100%. So we have maximum fuel. Well, not maximum, but don't overflow the engine with fuel. But that's no supercharger, no turbocharger. Put this to take off. I might crash here, so. Right, I think we're good to go. Hit it. Hit the brakes. Press the brakes. Go. Oh, shit. The Connie Tower is to the left, not the right. Ooh, okay. This is going to be rough. Oh, or not. Okay. Alright, so now we're up. Go up. Some planes might not have elevator or aileron trim, which is the downside, but Zero is a pretty nimble and stable plane, so you don't need much trim or elevator for this. As you can see, six five six percent aileron, five percent elevator. Um flying straight. So, let's actually climb up the altitude right now. The plane up. We are going at a, I think, 0.3 degree climb. Let's actually move that up some more. Increase the trim for the elevator. I'm actually losing some power right now. Let's actually close a bit of the radiator so I don't produce more drag. So let's put that to 50%. As you can see, I'm increasing speed right now full rep we need a lot of space to recover because you're gonna actually be falling pretty fast um let me check if I'm still recording so yeah all right good Okay, so as we get higher up, you can actually see the plane is going to be tilting more and more as we lose airspeed. Because the Zero doesn't like high places. This might be good, actually. So let's level out. Make sure we're not losing. Oh, we're still losing altitude. Piece the trim. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, this happens most likely when you're diving, and you pull up too hard, so we're gonna simulate that, I'm gonna go down, right, as we're going down, pull up, oh, or not, <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me, let me, it's kinda hard, I'm trying to force it, okay, let's try again, God damn, my settings are so good, I can't, I can't flat spin. So let's stall out. See if we can do that. Okay. Alright, so we should be falling right now. So when you're, when you're flat spinning, you typically want to point your nose to the ground. Like this, and you're still gonna have some tilt to it. So then you're gonna increase the rudder. You're gonna be shutting off like two or three thousand feet. Then gently pull up. Right, All right. So there we go. That is how to take off, uh, land, and my controls, and, and you know, take off a carrier, and how to fix that flat spin. So, yep. Thanks, guys, and have a good time.